Hello and welcome to Turbo Reviews. This is Turbo. How you doing? Uh, doing pretty good here. Uh, well, sort of, I guess. I'm doing better anyway. Uh, come to deal with things. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, back with this one. The F. The little DYS Elf. Uh, I uh, bound it and now fly it with my Tyrannus. Oh, and also I took the clicks off my uh, gimbal. You know how they got that little clicking? I don't know. I mean, I liked it in one way and one way I really didn't. So I, I'm going to try it this way. Uh, I thought the clicking kind of held me up sometimes when I, it'll skip a click or something. Or, or like when you're coming up or going down, it'll uh, like pause and, you know, you'll screw up. Or, you know, I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird to me. So I made it to where uh, it just travels. Nice and smooth. I mean, it's just a screw in there. Uh, you just uh, loosened up about three quarters of a turn, I think, did it. And bam, no more clicks. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, binding the DYS to the Tyrannus X9D Plus. Yeah, ACCT, booga booga, RSSV. <laughs> Alright, and uh, what the deal is. Okay, I, I plugged in the quadcopter, turned on the, well, I had the trans on, had it ready in the bind position, just had to hit enter, and I uh, plugged in the DYS ELF, hit bind, and it seemed like it bound, it kind of beeped, and uh, seemed like it took. So I undid it, uh, went, uh, you have to go into the clean, uh, the uh, clean line beta flight uh, configurator and uh, change the uh, the uh, radio uh, channel order mapping to uh, T-A-E-D-E-R T-A-E-R I believe because uh, it's on like uh, A-E something I don't remember which one it picks but uh, it's on a different one so when you go into the configurator you'll see because because your, your trainers won't work it you'll uh, you know, have your you got to set up your arm switches and do all that. Um, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Uh, arm mode, uh, beeper or first OSD, then beeper in that order. If you want it to work like it's already configured on the DYS remote, which I do have, I I got the ready to fly version. I just wanted to give the trans a shot. And I guess I can always bind it back to the to the uh, DYS remote radio but uh okay so when i turned it back on and tried to arm it it wouldn't uh wouldn't arm so i went into the configurator and that's what it was, was the radio and uh just make sure all your switches are set up and you know what they are and uh set anything you want you know and uh, it's got 3.1.5 i believe on it i didn't flash it with the newer version or anything i just left that on it for now and you may have to bind it again. I found that I did. I uh, turned the trans on and had it all ready on that on that quad. And it's now DYS Elf is in here. I had it on that quad. Still nothing. So I kind of freaked out. I was like, Oh no! Did I break it from the one radio and won't work with the trans? What have I done? But uh, I just uh, rebound it. Uh, I uh, did the same thing, but the, the radio into the, got it ready for bind, and you have to be in D8 mode, mind you, one through eight. And uh, plugged in the copter, turned on the trans, hit bind, uh, bound right up, real quick, and bam! Now look at her. Well, let's see, I don't know where I can rightly put it, where you can see it far. You'll hear it, I guess. Or I'll aim the camera down there, maybe. I'm gonna turn the trans on. For I, when I put it back together to get this, and I even took note, sorta. And uh, when I put it back together, I put this switch and this switch, of course, backwards. These wait to warning, gotta go. And I'm good. And if I don't do that, it won't bind with it. So uh, I've got to take it back apart and do that. So uh, anyway, let's fire this dog up. And we'll 
just see. Play the binder. And what I can do. I think that meant bound. Beep, 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 right? I can uh, show you the USD. Turn it on and off. I don't really know why. Go ahead and get us an FPV feed here. What do you think? I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me zoom in on it. Arm it. Here is the OSD in the middle position on. Ooh, we have OSD. Down's off. Middle's on. Up's off. So, there's that. See, we can go back down to regular size. There you go. And there's the beeper. Middle I don't have working. Down works. This is one I use for my display. There's a yeah angle, horizon, macro, arm. And that's about it. And see, I've got. Uh, Wrote in there. D Y S L. Yeah, no, my buttons are off here. I came out to. I'm not mad at them. This bottom one's making me mad. So I punched them all out. <laughs> I go back in and fix the dang uh, switches anyway. So fix the buttons too. Two hundred fifty dollar remote. These things are. Two hundred fifty dollar radio. These are. Matter of fact. That, my friends, is how you put these two together, and uh, it's awesome that uh, DYS made it. I mean, not that big a deal. A lot of making for trans, right? But uh, I got it with the RTF version, so I got the little radio, and it's a good radio. It's a hop, skip, and jumping spread spectrum, so it's the same protocol as D8. So. And you do have to put this in D8. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But uh, there you go. That's how you uh, bind the Tranus hand. No clicky. Get it? No clicky. No clicky. I like it. All right. And I'm going to leave a uh, uh, the screenshot from uh, the configurator in Betaflight, how I set it up. Let me show you there kind of what you got to do. Don't remember, you got to bind it twice. And you'll have to uh, bind it once again after you've set it up. I don't know why. I mean, you might not, uh, but I did. So there you go. DYSL on Tyrannus mode. Right on. Stay tuned. There, there's more to come. I'm out of here. <laughs>